Hello everybody, this is Matador again from freetradingvideos.com. Still the 20th of May, and the S&P had run up beautifully to this resistance that we talked about. Uh, actually gapped up this morning like we talked about above 92, and started chewing on this $93 mark even into this morning. So here is that run up on a higher time frame. Perfect gap fill would have been right in there, and we actually touched it almost to the penny. So not so great to be buying after a multi-bar run-up into resistance like this, and that's what we wanted to watch out for. I had mentioned that we want to watch how this uh, broad market here fills the gap. So we knew it was gapping open. Uh, we knew where it was going to gap open uh, roughly, and then it didn't fill at all. So that tells me about the sentiment of the market because if nobody really wants to take profits, right, who's long down here, right? Usually on a gap up, people get awfully motivated to sell out when they see a gap up. When they don't do that and new buyers rush in, pushing the price even higher, maybe even people on the short side buy to cover and they're scared, right? That means the sentiment read is higher. And so I watched the gap fill. In this case, it doesn't. And that tells me that the sentiment, at least in the morning, was high. We also knew, <laughs> as I've said a thousand times now, we were running up into massive resistance. So after a great run up, that's not something I would just smack in the face of. And so watching the trend and the trend cue, uh, and sometimes the VIX can give a very good signal to that. What's interesting about the trend and the trend cue is just on this. Uh, let me go to a smaller time frame here. We saw this starting to inch up the whole morning. So 1.0 ran up to 1.3 at one time even. The trend Q had been on a steady climb throughout the day, so that's not exactly bullish. And the VIX, one of the biggest telling ones, and somebody actually mentioned this as a comment uh, on YouTube uh, side of things when they were watching my morning video, uh, was did the VIX bottom out? He actually called this bottom very, very nicely. And so now we see this VIX fear sentiment, right, coming back into and trying to fill its gap. So again, back to the S&P 500. This is an interesting morning to watch. Now we do have a gap fill. It comes back. It does a 100% retracement of this run-up. And then it comes all the way back down to about a 50% retracement of this gap. I could draw that in, but I think you get the idea. I'll do it anyway. So here's that. There's the $50 or 50% line almost to the penny. So you kind of have to watch out for it. You can even drop a line in there if you want and then get rid of all the noise. So that's a great place to look for support. The 200 MA has now been tested. Again, this is just a little three minute chart, but that corresponds perfectly to a 15 minute 50 MA. We saw that bounce there yesterday toward the close. Big gap up, now we're bouncing there again. Uh, the volume, not too dreadful. Uh, on the sell-off, it's much higher here, a little bit higher in the last two bars. So again, just kind of watch out for that. You can fine-tune that. Uh, let's see on the sell-off, kind of just doing this on the fly. I can see that being a little bit higher. Volume decreasing on the run-up, that's pretty telling. Sort of increasing a little bit on the sell-off that could give us a, a little bit of warning that we were looking for a lower high in here, especially after 100% retracement. What I really care about though is are we going to hold up here on a longer time frame? Again, this is beautiful and not all that unexpected as we've already assessed all the overhead resistance. It's going to take some pretty good news catalysts uh, to drive this higher. And so far, the news this morning on Bank of America raising billions of dollars in just a couple of weeks was the news we needed to push us higher into this resistance area. But now we see some other market things coming in, like inventories, uh, crude inventories being down. So anyway, keep all these things in escrow. Again, just can, uh, watch now how this gap fills again. We already know where our support areas are on the way back. We're already hitting those, right? making sense. So if we fail further, We'll be getting down into this region, like I said before, and these other lines that are here already. So good stuff. Look for those support areas. Look for a higher swing low. If we think we can climb back out of here before I would go long, make sure the trend and trend queue are back out uh, into a normal range. And um, 1.26 and 1.16 is not bullish. So again, just be very careful how you go long here unless you've found a great relative strength stock.
All right, that's a little run around the markets for you. Look forward to D7's video this evening, and um, I look forward to talking to you all later.